What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the next episode of ARK. Here's the supply crate right here. Let's see what we get. We may get lucky. Oh, we did. We got lucky. We got some good stuff right there. We got a simple bed and a storage box. I'm going to take all of it. That's actually one of the better supply crates I've ever seen. Normally they just have like a Fiolia, whatever the hell, a Phenomia saddle or whatever inside of them. I've had like five or six supply crates now. They just had a saddle inside of them and nothing else. Let's see here. We got gators off that direction. We got a couple more things to hunt. I do think that it's a good idea that we just hang out for a little while. What do I have going on right here? I got a little bit more flint left. I'm going to go fight this dino because I want Dizzle to level up further. If we get ourselves, I actually ended up taming one a while back where I got like a level 20 or like a level 30 Dilophosaur. It was pretty awesome. I'm running around kicking ass off things. Dizzle, now is the time. Dizzle. Oh, dude, Dizzle. Now is the time. There you go, Dizzle. Tank him. Tank him. Spank him. Ah! Tank it, spank. Tank it, spank. We got this. See, this is why you need friends in life. This is why you need friends. You and me, me and you. There's no limit to the things we'll do. We'll kill some dinosaurs. Yes, it's true. Me and you. Dizzle, me and you. Dizzle. Do I want to hang out with Dizzle? Ooh, 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 ooh. Everybody loves Dizzle. Who doesn't love Dizzle? Dizzle's the best. He's one of the best parts about this series. What am I out of? Wood? Oh. Maybe there's just lag right now. And a stegosaur over here. Probably not going to mess with a stegosaur right now. That seems like a recipe for heartache. Over on this side. Or at least face ache. Wow, there are a lot of trikes around here. What did you get for those last two? You get anything? Oh my god, he's almost level 5. Good for you, man. Good for you. Got a couple more dilophosaurs down here. If I could slay them... It would be good for us. So I'm going to make a couple of spears real fast and eat a meal. Yeah, I think we're getting a little bit of lag right now. But anyways, that's cool. I've been playing for like hella long right now with no lag. It's to be expected. Like honestly, every other server that I've played on has been a complete and total mess this entire time. So this is like the first server that I've actually been able to play on in like a day or two. Ever since single player went offline. we got another wild D-Low right here. You don't want to do that. Oh, you got spit on. He spit on your butt. He spit on your butt. How do you feel right now? How do you feel right now? Okay, so we made it. Not by much. I think Dizzle's going to have to fight this one, though. We're not looking so great. If I get a couple more stabs off, we'd be better, but... There we go. We got another one. Wow. That got intense pretty quickly. That got a little bit out of control. What are you doing right now? You looking through his inventory? That's what he's doing. If you recognize Rust right now, he's looking through his inventory. He ganked him, and now he's looking through his inventory. He's like, what's this guy got? Oh, he's got some resources? What? You got some stone up in here? Damn, you've been farming, dude. You've been farming. I have a couple more hides for later. You level up again? Not quite. Not quite. We got to wait for our HP to come back. I don't think we're quite ready for another fight just yet unless it's going to be one from a range so this dilophosaur over here we only got like two hits left on us so i'd like i think he gets more xp if he gets the final hit what's your hp looking like by the way oh you're feeling great you're feeling fantastic right now good hey other dilophosaur guess what my dilophosaur is super superior to you why because he hangs out with me and he's my friend he helps me write stories about our adventures. See? Look what just happened to you. I told you he was better than you. I told you he's better, and see, now you're writhing and you're spasming in despair because my Dilophosaur is better than you. And I'm going to beat the hides out of your skull. There we go. And also, apparently, I'm going to beat the poop out of myself. Okay. Well, there's another... I thought I saw another airdrop in here somewhere, but I don't see it now. So I think we'll just keep on walking. Glad we got another Dilophosaur. We got a Pterodon over there. Looks like this is actually like Dilophosaur Central. So I guess we figured out where to find these at. Just in case you ever get on... Well... I'm trying to figure out a way that I can get both of these without getting into trouble. I don't know if I should. Dizzle, do you level up yet? I want you to be level 5, Dizzle. I want you to be level 5 very, very badly. They're kind of close to each other right now. It makes me nervous. No, Dizzle! I'll save you. 
We must do battle with the inferior Dilophodons and their mate boosted, which is going to be all kinds of special. So there's one down right there. There's another one down right there. Took care of business. Now did you level? I bet you did. Yep, you leveled. Okay, so actually he only took like a hit or two right there. I think it might be a good idea to get his health up a little bit higher. And so we'll put him up to like 200 HP. That actually almost gave him an entire new hit. So that'll be good. He'll be able to take an extra hit from whatever it is that decides to come after us. He's a little bit fragile right now. If we could get him up to like, how much? Uh, I think if we could get him up to maybe, the problem is that he can't wear armor because I've got armor on right now, which is what's really keeping me safe. If he had armor, he'd be a little bit better off, but let me break my slingshot again real fast. Ooh. What are you? Are you a carnosaur? I don't know what that is right there, but I don't think I want to tempt fate on it. We might want to do the river crossing right here. I'm a little bit lost at the moment. Like, I don't know exactly where I am. Like, I'm pretty sure I know where I am. But I've been proved wrong before where, like, I feel like I'm super well-oriented. And then I actually go around a corner that I thought I knew where I was. And then it wasn't the corner that I thought I was. And I'm like, well, shit, this is not good. Worst dealer ever. Just can't remember what corner I'm on. Okay, there's nothing in here that's going to try and murder me. So that's good. That's like step one. Oh, we got a couple of people over here. Maybe not. That might not be the plan. Let's get out of here. I'd rather not risk it for right now. Oh, it's Grumbly. <laughs> so anyways that's one of the guys I was talking to earlier he's friendly he's cool I'm not really too stoked about running through the darkness right now especially given the fact that there are some bigger nasties on this island but if you had three or four people with slingshots maybe you could knock it out before it could do any real like considerable damage let's go check the supply crate over here and then I'm gonna cross back over the way that we came so that I can go directly back across to my house and then that should be good that actually might be a purple one. I can't tell. It's either white or purple. It's descending right now. What do I not have to repair this? I need wood. Okay. So apparently I have no wood right now. I'm going to get rid of some dodos real quick too. I don't know where my dinosaur is at either. He may have put himself back on follow mode or something. Oh, I'm starving. Since when? Alright. Let's eat that right there. Get a couple hides off this guy. And we gotta go back and find D'Lo. I don't know where he went. I think we lost him back here somewhere. I'm sorry, Dizzle. Come on, Dizzle. There he is. Come on, buddy. Get over here. Sometimes they accidentally they swap back to one of their previous states. Like, they'll just stay in place for some reason. Oh, he's stuck on a tree. Okay. Come on, dude. This way. There we go. The Dizzle is free. Huzzah for the Dizzle. Come on. Up the hill with you. We need to be over the hill, you and I. We'll be friends forever until we're both over the hill and then we'll laugh and smile about being old and all that fun stuff. Hopefully avoids getting stuck this time up because I could actually use the supply crate. It would make me pretty happy if I could have it. Coming, Dizzle. It seems like he gets confused by collision a lot of the time. Here, maybe I'll try and do this an easier way. Here, come this way with me. Come on, buddy. I believe in you right now, Dizzle. I know that you can handle this. Because you hang out with me, and you're the best Dilophosaur ever. There we go. Alright, I think we got him moving now. Every now and again, he's got to give him a little kickstart. Make sure that he's ready to go. Get that funding, backing, whatever. I think that's actually in the same spot where we were before. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to go down the mountain right now. I'm going to try and keep an eye on that, so I think we need to go this way. 
We also needed some wood so that we could repair our stuff. So let me grab that real fast. Repair the slingshot just in case things get a little bit rowdy. Looks like our eyes have adjusted. I'm still nervous about the prospects of moving around in the dark, especially in the forest. Because that's exactly where a predator is going to want you. But for right now... Is that a Phenomia right there? Oh, it is. It's a Phenomia. There's a couple of them, so we found them. There are Phenomias over here. So with the Phenomias, do I have the ability to tame this right now? What are my capabilities looking like? We got 49 Amara Berries. I don't know if I could train one before it actually woke up. We would need more Narco Berries for sure. Let's go ahead and grab those real fast. Once I've got like a hundred narco berries. This is one of the big things that I wanted though. If I could bring it back home with me, that would be great. How many narco berries do you figure it takes for one of these things? It's pretty big. You hungry again? You need to stop being hungry so much. Mrs. Complainy Pants over here. Always hungry and always thirsty. Always has some weird drippy thing next to her mouth. Let's go. You only got three narco berries. Ah, that's what I was looking for, too. I just don't have the supplies right now to make this happen. That was exactly what I was looking for. You're not about to attack me, are you? Better not be. You better calm down, turtle. You better calm down, turtle. Here, let me gather up some stuff, and I'm going to see if I can hunt it afterwards, okay? We'll come back in just a minute. All right, guys and gals. We're back up and in right now, just chilling for a little bit. I actually decided to go home. I pretty much took my ball and went home because I figured we could probably find a Fiomia around here anyways. And now I've been blinded. That's unfortunate. Stab in any direction. Kill in no particular direction. Just do it efficiently. Okay, so anyways, what we needed to do right now is I actually I was on my way home and we found another Fiomia over here. And so this one might be easier to tame from where we're at. So things to consider for right now, we might be able to pick up some rocks over here. And if I get him with a slingshot a couple times, we can tame him and then take him back home because home is only like four feet away anyways. So let's grab some more rocks. I need to put a hey, Dizzle, where are you at? Dizzle, let me put you on neutral and then put you on passive. There we go. And so now that you're on passive, actually, what do I have in terms of supplies before I do this? I need to make sure that I have enough berries to make this happen. Okay, well, let's give it a try. I can't promise we're going to experience any sort of success here. But if we run this thing down, it should turn around eventually. With the lag, it might be a little bit interesting trying to hit him, but... Ah... Uh... I'm getting a feel for it. You just got to learn how to shoot the slingshot pretty efficiently. Normally what I would do is I would run up and I would just punch him a bunch of times because it's easier that way. But for right now, our food is going down pretty rapidly too. Where did he go? Uh, he's way off over that way. I'm going to track this guy way off into the boonies. We don't have much of a choice though. I want this dinosaur right now. He's not really a dinosaur. He's kind of like a giant quadrupedal mammal or something. But I want him. I don't know when he stops running around. But we need him to be a part of our team, and so I should have just gone for the other way, which is punching him a bunch of times, and then he'll bug out and get stuck against a tree or something. A dodo right there. Where did this guy go? Damn it. Ah, uh, I think we lost him. How do you lose a 700-pound animal? Damn it. It appears as though we lost our dinosaur, too. Alright, back the way we came. I don't know. Fiomias can be a little bit weird. I've gotten them before when I was playing in multiplayer. I've never gotten one on camera yet, but I've gotten one before. And honestly, you can run up and punch them and it seems to work pretty well if you just run up and start hitting them. Because then they like bug out and they can't figure out what's going on. But we put like nine rocks into that thing and it still didn't go down. I remember punching them. It didn't take that long, so I don't know what happened. I don't know if our dinosaur decided he was no longer coming along for this since he didn't get to partake in the meats and any of the good parts. But it looks like Fiomia spawn out here. I think I've seen that before, though, too. It's something that I'd already had sort of in the back of my head, Noodle. Where is he? Ugh, we lost our mail before we ever even... I hope he's, like, back here and he just didn't come along. Hold on. Apparently, I'm randomly having just, like, a... 
a weird cramp or something at the moment. It'd take me about a decade to get all of my... There we go. Dizzle, I hope you're over here, man. If you're not over here, I don't know where you're at. I may have lost him on a tree or something back up in there. Yeah, I lost him on a tree or something. Which means we are going to have to go back and find him. Alright, the hunt for Dizzle. Let's go find this little guy. I guess I'll eat the food that was intended for the Fionia, Phenomia or whatever. I don't know if those stack up that high, but I'm going to give it a go. Give him a whistle, too, just in case. There he is. I knew he was following me. He's probably stuck on a tree or something. That was my guess, is that probably get him righted around here somewhere. And I can grab some flint from over here, because I'd like to take that home. I've still never found the rocks that give you metal. I have found one metal in the entire time that I've played this game. I've gone, like, all over the place, harvesting every single stone that I can find. And unfortunately, just haven't had any luck. But for right now... Got that right there. Okay, let's go back home. Make sure that we haven't been burgled. We'll leave our other dinosaur over there, too, so that they can hang out for a little bit. Maybe get to know each other, go out for cocktails, something like that, have a nightcap. Maybe they'll lay an egg if we get really, really lucky. Hey, we leveled up randomly. That's good. I like leveling up. Let's go for... Oh, I don't know. Do something like... I don't even know what Fortitude does. I think it lowers damage or something. I'm not really too positive. Either that or it gives you some kind of like resistance to being hit. There's crafting speed right there, which would be kind of cool. I wish there was training speed in here too. That'd be kind of nice. I think weight tends to be the allotment that I'm kind of out of. I might take some points in weight. And so the next thing, we have 13 points right now, which means we can actually get some new stuff, which is pretty cool. Got a spyglass. We got a crop plot, a parasaur saddle. That might be kind of fun. A stone irrigation pipe, a flare gun. Okay, there's some nice stuff up in here. So I guess we gotta find those engrams, maybe from the random things that are around, like the little supply drops or whatever. Go with a wall sign, a wooden ceiling, a wooden door frame. Probably take the wooden door frame. And then if there's a wooden door in here too, I'll probably take that. And so there it is. That'll make our house a little bit safer while we play. Because we're playing on a PvP server, I really am going to sort of like, I know it's going to bother some people, but I'm going to tend towards stuff that allows me to maintain my collection without people stealing from me. And so, if I can get myself upgraded up to like way better stuff earlier on, that's what I would rather do as far as housing goes. So that I can log off without having to worry about somebody being a total ass and just coming in and ruining my stuff. What's up, buddy? You still eating? You still looking good? Lots of spoiled meat on you, unfortunately. Okay. I got a little bit right here you can have, so take those. Then I think all the other meat is on the other dino. You should probably have leveled up by now, right? No? Still just waiting it out, huh? Where is Dizzle? Dizzle! Come meet your new friend. Get up here. Dizzle's a little bit directionally challenged. I don't know what it is with Dizzle right now, but Dizzle's having a hard day. Dizzle is just not holding it down. Come on, buddy. Get up here. I believe in you. Come on. Yep, don't go around that way. Go around this way. Damn, Dizzle. You are just dumb as hell, aren't you? You dumb as a stump. It's a good thing you're adorable. It is a good thing that you're adorable. Let's go ahead and grab that right there. Sure, while I wait for Dizzle to make his way up the hill. We'll go up to the top, and I see no problem having, like, a number of these guys following me around. Like, if I could get five or six of them following me around, we could probably attack something bigger and see if we could train that. I don't know how long it would take. I've heard, like, rumors through the force that it takes a really, really long time to train some of the nastier, meaner stuff. But we'll figure it out. All right, come meet D'Lo. Over here, my friend. Over here. And so these two, yeah, there it is right there. They get mate boosted. That's what I figured would happen. It makes them more badass. With you, I would like for you to have a little bit more health, D'Lo. Oh, there it is. We'll bring that on up. And when they are mate boosted, it doesn't tell you exactly. So we got it the foot paw, and it spawns on the southern coast. Huh. Apparently we're in a place called foot paw. I don't know. Yep. Looks like we're in a place called the foot paw. All right, works for me. I have no idea, like, what we're doing right now, but I'm going to take all this stuff, get all my chitin, get my bed, my fibers, everything that I can fit inside of here, and then we'll start storing stuff up again. You are encumbered. Well, that's okay. I'd rather be encumbered than cucumbered. Cucumbers are one of those plants that, like, they taste, like, fresh, or is it just me? I don't know. It always seems to me like cucumbers don't really have that much flavor, but for whatever reason, they feel like they have freshness going on. We have a new chest over here that we can drop in that we found for free at that supply drop. So there it is right there. Inside of this box over here, we got foundations and some other little goodies. We got some narco berries that are hanging out. 
Okay, we'll throw the stem berries in there. Some stones. I'm just going to try and get everything sorted for right now. We'll put berries and edibles up in here. Which means that we can take Thatch out, we take you out, and we take you out, and we take you out. And so if the one on the left is only going to be for edibles for right now, this should be okay. Got Tinto berry seeds. We got medium dinosaur duke. I don't want that next to the food. Unsanitary on this side. Let me set my respawn real quick. Actually, I don't even need to. I've got a bed, don't I? Well, hell. Let's get rid of that real fast then. We'll go back to our inventory. And since I've got the bed right here, we'll put that in. That'll work better anyways. And so... Put my bed right there. That's looking pretty good. Fast travel? What? You can fast travel? That's amazing. So you can have multiple bases like hunting lodges all over the place? That's really cool, actually. That's a feature that I like. That's a feature that I can fully get behind. That's pretty cool. All right, so we got a Zulberries in here. Everything else is looking fairly compacted. We'll go 20 meat right there, and then I'll probably distribute the rest to our dinos. Over here, we got a bunch of stuff, but you know what? As of right now, I'm sort of leaning towards the fact... Well, I gotta get stuff out of my inventory, I guess. We got T-Rex glasses. I'll probably throw some random stuff up in here just to get rid of the weight because we're gonna go chop trees for a minute. We got a wooden sign. I don't really care about that. I don't know what to use that for. We've got a foundation right there. We got some stones. We got some standing torches. I don't know if I want to put the standing torches up just yet. It's something that I had thought about doing in the previous episode. But I'm worried that if I put up torches, they're just going to sit there and burn, and people are going to know where my house is, and then they're going to come mess with me. And so I'd rather leave it alone for right now. we got some hides right there. What are you complaining about? Oh, water. Okay. All right, so we'll go a little bit more water right there, get ourselves all filled up. And now it's time to build ourselves a wooden shelter. So first things first, I think we're probably going to need some wood in order to get that done, right? So... I don't suppose... So what do you have right now? You have no meat on you. Okay. So I'm going to take back a couple of those. I'm going to put the rest on the other dino. Just to make sure. I don't know if you two want to come along. I'll put you both on passive though. Well, neutral works. And then we will order a disable fall. Okay, so it should be following now. Attack my target. I guess you got to go through the whole cycle. Attack my target. There we go. Now we should be good. Come on, guys. Come along with me. So we've got D-Lo and Dizzle. We can get a couple more. I've already got the names picked out. And it's going to be awesome. Next one's name is going to be Dankity. I don't know what the one after that's going to be called. I don't know. Probably like Dorf or something like that. Have one named Dot. I need these guys to help me carry wood back to base because we are going to need a lot of it to get this job done. There's actually a major, major ramping up of resources when you go from like thatch on up to wood buildings. And so if we get this finished off now, it would make our lives a lot easier in the coming days when we go around to hunt bigger stuff. And so I want to be able to be away from home without having to worry about things getting broken into, destroyed, annihilated, and increasing the HP allotments on this stuff is going to be the best way for me to do that. Right around the time that I get encumbered, that's when I'll start loading up the dinos. 61 right there. Axe is probably going to break pretty shortly. The nice thing about this, too, is that we're getting XP for this. So that's pretty cool. Dizzle. I need you. You've got eight right there. Dizzle, come along. I'm going to have you. Oh, that's way too much for Dizzle. Okay, so for Dizzle, let me put in... I think he can still walk if I go, like, right to there, so that'll be okay. I don't want to overload them too much for right now, but they're like little mobile chests that fight and kill and murder and drink the blood of their foes. That's what I like about them. Let's grab this over here. As many trees as I can destroy. What are these? Eucalyptus? These are some weird trees. There we go. One of you down. We used to play paintball in a eucalyptus forest over by my house. Well, not by my house, but anyways. There's a big eucalyptus grove up by a town called Winters. And the Sacramento paintball team practices out there. And it's a pretty cool place. They got like some big wide open sort of like World War II style battlefields where you run around doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Why won't you build? What do I need? Flint? I put it inside of something else, didn't I? Okay, so since apparently I'm bad at planning, let's beat on this rock for just a minute because it's all his fault. Build ourselves a new axe. 
There we go. More wood. Wood for the wood throne. Twine for the twine god. Alright, so we got that right there. If I was the twine god, you'd assume they'd be pretty crafty, right? He would basically be clever. He'd be able to make anything out of twine. Hemp. Those random things. Alright, and so I think I already had... Did I get d -Lo loaded up? No, it was Dizzle. Okay, so we'll go all in right there. Hold on to that for me, amigo. A little bit thirsty right now, but I think we can make this work. I already drank my water too, didn't I? Yeah, we're going to have to go down to the ocean again. Luckily, the oceans in this game are fresh water, so that's pretty cool. Don't have to worry about that too much. A couple more trees down. There's not going to be much left on this hill anyways. Let's turn into Raid of Kings out here where like the entire map has been deforested when there's 25 players online. Got to reset it real quick. Alright, that'll do for right now, I think. We've got quite a bit of wood. Let me see what I can do with the wooden floors here. So each of the wooden walls, it's going to take 40 wood apiece, and then it's going to take 10. Okay, that's not too terrible. Let's go down to the water. We'll get ourselves all nice and sated. My name is Splattercat. This is Ark Survival Evolved. I look forward to seeing you all in the future. Hopefully, eventually, we'll be able to get a Phenomia. That would be phenomenal if we could get a Phenomia. I'll see you all later. Hi to everybody. We know that they're back on the island towards the center, so... Worst case scenario is I can head back over there and do it that way. It's just kind of a long walk. I, I would have rather gotten this one on the way back home, but unfortunately, he's faster than I was, and I ran out of stamina because I hate that she sits there and moans the entire time whenever she wants food. Like, I wish you could disable that somehow. It's kind of like the panting when they run to it. It annoys the hell out of me in other games. I wish that both of those things did not exist. So, anyways, I'll see you all later. How do you, everybody?